I want to remind you, this word here, this fancy mathematical word, you've met it before. Do you remember what context we met in? What is a binomial? Could you give me an example? Hurry, isn't it like two, like you put two numbers in a bracket and then you put another two numbers in another bracket? When you see the prefix of bi, like bicycle, okay? So when you got two things, where we saw this before was things like, say, this. You don't have to write this down, but I'm just trying to jog your memory, okay? Uh, something like this. Do you remember? We had a look at these when we were in the topic of thirds. We looked at these because they were particularly interesting when you expand everything out. Lots of these are like terms and they simplify quite nicely. In this, which bit is a binomial? Because the whole thing is not a binomial. Which part's a binomial? Hmm. There are actually two of them. Do you see? Here's one. That's a binomial. Okay. Because look, there's this and this. Two things. And then here is the other one. 1, negative root 5, those are the two pieces that make the binomial. Okay? So binomials are, and I'd love this underneath the heading just so you have your review there, binomials are combinations of two terms. You can combine two terms in lots of different ways and lots of different kinds of terms as well. So if you have a binomial... Hi, sir. Maddie? Any signs with me? No, this is your 12. Oh, sorry, that's your 12. This is your 10. We don't have your 12 today. Are you thinking of... No, no, their line's not on. Are you... Oh, I see. Oh, that's... Yeah, that one. Yeah. Should we get through? That's fine. Yeah, I thought... No, that's okay. I thought I haven't even had that today. Wait, where are we? Binomials. We know this is a binomial, this is a binomial, so this is a binomial product. Something times something. Are you with me so far? Yes. Okay. So you know what these are? Now you know what these are. What topic are we in right now? What kinds of things have we been dealing with recently? Indices. We, we did indices, but indices with what? We didn't do indices like this. We did indices like this. Products and factors are to do with algebra. That's what we've been looking at. Okay. So we're going to look at binomial products with algebra in them. Okay. So I want to just have a look at a series of examples. Okay. Actually, I'm just making a plus for that. Okay. Now we've seen these before. I need another color. We have. That's a bad color. Choose. We have. Something times something else. This is just like the expanding and factorizing we were doing last lesson, except it's just a little more difficult because both of these things are binomials. Okay? If you have another color there, in fact, if you have two more colors, I want to remind you of how we do this. We go from here, we multiply by these two. Once you've multiplied A by both terms, then you multiply one by both terms. Do you see that? You see how I've gone through. So, let's actually go ahead and do this. Let's just crunch the numbers, okay? Let's do the green ones first. Up the top. When I expand for the first bit, you're going to do A multiplied by B, which gives you A, B. A multiplied by 5, which gives you Finish it off for me. Plus B plus 5. Okay, are you happy with that? Can we simplify it any further? Well, it's expanded. If it were necessary, and I'll ask you, I could factorize it, I could go back. How would you do that, by the way? That's not actually the question I'm interested in, but how would you do it? Jennifer? Okay, so you can just reverse this process, right? You, instead of getting rid of the brackets, you start to add some in. You might notice, oh look, those have a common factor, five. These have a common factor, B. And you can take them out and you will come back to where we started. Okay, so that's not what I'm interested in doing. But what I want to point out to you is, there's a really nice visual way of uh, understanding what is going on, which is by thinking of this 
something times something else. Kind of like when you first <coughs> learned, let's do this, multiplication, okay? Way back in primary, I wonder if you ever saw it like this. Can you draw this for me? Have you, do you recognize this? When you say two times five, what it really means is, look, there's two lots of five this way. Or if you like, there's five lots of two this way. Does that make sense? And it's one of the nice ways that you can convince yourself and remember that two times five and five times two are the same thing. Because all you need to do is just kind of look at it and then turn your head. And you can see one's two times five, the other is five times two. Okay? In other words, we're trying to represent a product with a picture. It's like a, it's like a grid sort of thing. I can do the same thing over here. It's just that this is what I've got. Help me out. If you've got a ruler there, this would be useful. Draw yourself a horizontal line. And I want you to imagine that this horizontal line is made up of two bits. Part of it is A, like this part over here. And then the other part next to it is 1. So if you've got A and 1 and you jam them together to make one interval, then the total length is A plus 1, right? Like you just added them. Does that make sense? Now, A plus 1 is one ingredient. B plus 5 is the other. Okay? Now, I'm just making up lengths, by the way. It doesn't matter how long these are. It's just the picture. Uh, B plus 5. Let's call that something like this. So let's make this bit the B. And this bit, the five. Okay. So, what are we looking at? Just like here, you had kind of like a grid shape. You can make a grid shape over here as well, right? I'm just going to complete the other sides. And when you expanded, you got out one, two, three, four objects. Well, this diagram here also has the same one, two, three, four objects. If you put in that grid I was talking about, I'm going to put a line across here, and then I'm going to put a line down this way. Okay? Have a look at what we have created. Let's go for green. Okay? Look at the top left corner. It's a rectangle, and you know its width, and you know its height. The area of a rectangle is just width times height. So what's its area? This one here. It's just AB, right? What about this one over here? It's 1 times b. So it's just b. Do you agree? What about this one down here? 5a. And then this one here is 5 times 1, which is 5. Okay. So you see, what we wrote down here by going 1, 2, 3, 4 is just what you've represented just in a shape. Okay. So this is a binomial product. This is a binomial a plus 1. This is another binomial b plus 5. And that's why you get all these four pieces out. Okay? 